It's been an interesting time learning about this little country, Estonia, and the powerhouse that it is. One of the things that has been very interesting to know is that it's very traditional um, in its culture uh, and in the roles men and women have. But at the same time, women are very, very educated. I read that women over 25 are all literate. All women over 25 in Estonia have at least been to secondary school. 100% literacy level in women. That is amazing. The president is woman, is a woman. The consul who represents the nation of Estonia in Kenya is a woman. Um, so how, why, is, it, is that a deliberate effort to ensure that women participate in, you know, I guess the traditional men kind of jobs? Uh, what is it about Estonia that has enabled women to get to that level in society? I, I think it's the, the fact that Estonians have been educated for a long time. If, if you consider that, um, um, what, okay, so I, I think of my own lineage. Okay. So let's, let's sort of walk back. So uh, my mother uh, went to university. My mother is uh, a trained Russian language teacher and she contributes to um, Estonian um, museums in collecting folklore. Present continuous. Yes, current, yes. She's, uh, she's eight years old. She recently taught herself um, how to do sound editing on computer because she needs... I beg your pardon? <laughs> you said she's how old? 80. And she taught herself to do what? Sound editing and um, and uh, uh, how to do image capture and put all that together because uh, she collects folklore from old people, stories that would die with the people if That's she didn't. amazing. <laughs> and so, uh, and my, my father is uh, a research scientist uh, who holds a few patents in, in various uh, medical and uh, scientific fields. Uh, okay, I could go, but let, let me go with my father's lineage. My father's father, so that's my grandfather, okay. was an academician uh, who, who was uh, a mathematician and um, who taught in, um, in university. My grandmother was a historian and, um, and so she, um, she chose to uh, look after her family, but she, she, was, um, she was a historian, university educated. Uh, let's go with my, no, I could, go, I could go again two ways, but let me go with my uh, grandfather's, uh, my grandmother's family. My great-great-grandfather uh, was one of the people who established the first newspaper, Estonian language newspaper uh, in the country. Wow. And uh, her, his, his wife was equally very highly educated. And so there, there, there has been a, 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 a conscious effort of Estonians being highly educated. Uh, Estonia has um, composers and, um, and authors who are both men and women going back, uh, you know, hundreds of years. And so there, there hasn't been a need to deprive a girl child of education. In fact, if anything, currently, uh, in, when you go to an Estonian university, you'll find that the female population in the university is more than the male population. Interesting. Uh, because the, the boys, uh, straight away after high school, when they've learned entrepreneurship, they straight away want to go and start their businesses. I mean, what's the bother of going to university when I can start to make money mm. and fend for myself and, you know, buy my first car? And so, in, in, in that way, both men and women have been fully engaged in society yeah. uh, already historically. And, um, and so when, when here, uh, you know, some of the challenges that are there in high schools is how to keep the girls in high school. Right. In Estonia, one of the challenges that um, schools hold, the competitions amongst themselves is which high school is able to go smoke free. What does that mean? It means that... Literally or...? Literally. Like smoke-free? Yes, smoke-free. In Estonia, the challenge is that uh, students in high school smoke. And so they hold competitions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which school can eliminate smoking for a term? 
those are the kind of for challenges. just a term. Yeah, let's try a term. Everybody <laughs> stop okay. smoking. Wow. So how is it then that the women who you know go to school, go to university, get careers and are career women, how do you balance that between motherhood and the expectation of your family on you know the, the traditional roles that women take? Mm. Yeah. So in Estonia, it's like you say, Estonians are quite traditional in the outlook, uh, in the sense that. An Estonian woman knows how to cook. There is no option that, you know, because you went to university or because you have a career, you now don't cook. There is nothing like that. Uh, equally, an Estonian man is a man who has a proper toolbox, who knows how to fix things and look after things. And, you know, uh, it, it's, a, it's a proper, you know, man the way we see ma men from traditional perspective. But Estonia also knows that in order to nurture the next generation, yeah. the, the first three years of a child's life are most important in forming who they will become right. for the society. And so Estonia gives one and a half years fully paid maternity leave. Amazing. And um, and so it's an option to take either maternity or paternity leave. And so, so first one and a half years fully paid maternity leave and a further one and a half years unpaid maternity leave. So the mother has the option to stay with the child or the father for three years. If another child is born, a next one and a half years of maternity leave or paternity leave is given. Wow. And, uh, and at the same time, women have the choice to take it or not. Like for example, when, when you talk of um, women in positions of power within the country, like for example, the Estonian Minister of Education a couple of years ago, while she was the Estonian Minister of Education, had a baby and started to go to office together with her baby because as the minister, she had many responsibilities. She had the right as a minister yeah. to take maternity leave. I don't think if any Kenyan minister has ever taken any maternity leave. Um, and but she she chose to take her children mm -hmm. with her as she carried on doing her work as minister. Yeah. Uh, there are uh, other Estonian parliamentarians, including men, who from time to time go to work with their children. Really, um, and it's acceptable. It's I guess acceptable. It's okay to take your child to work. Yes. In fact, Estonia has one of the systems where annually. Uh, there, are, there is a week where you have to take your child to work. Mm -hmm. There is no option. It is mandatory for you to take your child to work so that they see what you do at work. They get a sense of the work environment. From what age? Mandatory from what age? I don't think it has an age limit. Really? So in, even infants for a week, as long as you have a child? Yes. You take them to work for a week, once a year? Yes. Okay. That's interesting. That is very, very interesting and it's important because it's important for kids to see what does mommy do, what does dad do at work. And then the fact that the men also take the ministers, also take their children to work. Yes, like there is uh, the Estonian Minister of Defence who um, w uh, right now sh he is a member of parliament, he was a Minister of Defence I think two years back. Yeah, he, he would take his children, he has six children from babies bigger. And you know he uh, he makes pancakes with them on Saturday mornings. That's amazing, Minister for Defense. Yes, supposed to be very serious and military-like. Yes. That's amazing. That is amazing. So many different nuggets we've gotten about us Estonia. That's you know I really feel I really want to come and just <laughs> get to have some Estonian friends. At least I've made one. I've made one now. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've learned something. I think we'll have one more question to go and then I'll have to say goodbye to Kadri, but it's been amazing. Uh, share the video, subscribe, watch, research, Google, and learn the opportunities you can, um, that are available for you for the grabbing from this beautiful nation, Estonia. God bless you, take care.